Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we will be reviewing another figure for Transformers Week. And it is Earthrise Sunstreaker. But before we look at Sunstreaker himself, let's look at the packaging. We have Transformers Earthrise, War for Cybertron, Trinity, Chikara Tomy, Autobot Logo, Generations, Transformers. Some nice artwork of Sunstreaker. And given I love the G1 cartoon since I've had it on DVD for a while. And here's what he looks like in robot mode and in car mode. It looks good. That's all there is to say for the packaging. And Sunstreaker rolls very well for an Earthrise figure. Now we're going to compare him to the one bot he shares the mold with. Earthrise Wheeljack. And they look good together. That's all there is to say for Wheeljack. Or Jackie, <laughs> as I call him. Like he was called in Prime. And here he is next to uh, War for Cybertron Siege. Sideswipe. And yes, the Autobot bros are back in town. Yeah. That's all there is to say for vehicle mode. Let's get down to transformation. Unfold his arms. Untab him. From the sides to form his upper body. Rotate the waist to form his his chest, flip up his head, fold up the hood section to become his chest, flip out his hands and straighten out his arms. Second verse, just like the first, accordion his legs out, and then we're going to rotate his legs forward which that involves a little bit more waist turning, as the saying goes. He's got a turny waist. And finally, for the G1 aesthetic, his little backpack thing. You're probably wondering, yes, it is a gun too, but I don't like it as a gun because it doesn't look like a gun. It looks more like an exhaust pipe. I just don't like it as a gun. Doesn't suit the whole gun quality with Sideswipe. Not Sideswipe, Sunstreaker. Sorry, I had to correct myself. It doesn't suit as a gun for Sunstreaker. So I give him this Connectabots gun. Now he's got a real gun in hand. Which is much more to my liking than I'd like like anything better than this. Now we're going to compare him next to Wheeljack in bot mode. You see the similarities with these figures. As soon as I can transform him off camera. Come on, Jackie. Make it easier on Eddie for me, Jackie. <laughs> yes, I like to call Wheel Jack Jackie like he was called in Prime. It's just fun. Barrel of fun. Their transformations are exactly the same as one another. Except for some similarities, which I will state.
and finally give Jackie his shoulder cannon. And I just dropped his little shoulder cannon. Sorry about that. I dropped parts quite a bit on this channel. I have a little bit of Butterfingers moments sometimes on this channel. <laughs> but here he is next to Earthrise Wheeljack. The chests are different. The legs share some similarity with the stand-up thing and the shoulders as well. So they have something, some things in common. Sorry if I had to correct myself. There's at least going to be a couple correction moments. But now we're going to compare him next to his bro, Sideswipe. And that's why I got Sunstreaker to go with my Siege Sideswipe. Because they're the bros of the Autobot team. And they look good together. Sideswipe is e easier to transform off camera, too. A lot less fussier than Wheeljack was. But here he is next to his bro, Sideswipe. And yeah, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe together again. Just like in the G1 cartoon. You're probably wondering, where did I get... get Sorry if I had to correct myself again for the third time. Where did I get Earthrise Sunstreaker? I got this from Amazon for 20 bucks. Is he worth adding to your G1 collection? If you're a G1 enthusiast, like I am. I'd say yeah. I don't have much G1 toys, but... Given I like this design, it's the best Sunstreaker we ever got, I'd say, hands down, he is the best Sunstreaker. And I got him for 20 bucks, which is pretty good. That's all there is to say for this video, and this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out.